We'll give you an extra one tape. Stand by, please. Okay, hold on just a moment. And whenever you're ready. Well, Harold, what a kick to get to come to the Grand Canyon where you shot some of your movie and have a chance to meet you and talk with you. But before we get into that, I have to tell you something. I became a tremendous fan of yours after Stripes or oh. during Stripes. I loved your portrayal in that. Good. Yeah. <laughs> and, uh, but now you're not acting so much anymore, huh? I wasn't acting a lot before either. Uh, that, that was a kind of a dream of mine to be in a movie without having to go through the years of struggling as an actor. So uh, my years of writing paid off. Uh, my relationship with Ivan Reitman was such. He'd, I'd worked with him as an actor when I was on the stage. And he, um, he gave me the confidence to go in and do it. So and I mean, you enjoyed it? Oh, it was great. But, but that's it? You've done it? You don't want to do that No, anymore? I'm going to do another one uh, for Ivan. Uh, it, we're going to shoot in the fall. Bill Murray, Dan Aykroyd, and I are going to work together in a film. That ought to be marvelous. Can you tell us the title at least? I, I, I think they're going to announce it next week. Oh, okay. Columbia Pictures. Yeah. Oh, all right. I'll be watching for the announcement then. Okay. <laughs> okay. But to talk about National Lampoon's Vacation, how many different locations were you at? I think we shot 65 locations uh, from just south of Denver uh, to Flagstaff, Arizona, right down the road there, and uh, including the Grand Canyon, Monument over, Valley. Over how many weeks? We shot uh, about 11 weeks, I guess. How in the world did you get that many locations into that short a time? We were like a circus. We had, uh, it was like packing up a hundred good friends and going on vacation with four semi-trucks and uh, lots of people. And uh, we, we moved like the circus. We would set up uh, in the middle of a field somewhere or in the middle of the desert. We'd serve dinner for a hundred people and uh, brought everything we needed, moved fast. And uh, the schedule was great. We came in ahead of schedule, under budget. But you had scouted all those locations. Twice, yeah. So, uh, but what about weather delays and things like that? For some reason, it was like nature favored this movie. If sometimes be, there'd be a cloudy morning, it'd be raining, we'd be setting up a shot. We'd say, well, we better set up in case it stops raining. The minute we'd finish, the sky would, clouds would part, the sun would come out. We didn't lose any time to weather at all. There are so many wonderful scenes in this movie. If I could just um, maybe zero in on one. The Arizona crash, for instance. Mm -hmm. Okay, now just tell me whatever comes to your mind about that, doing that scene. Uh, shot in Monument Valley, the, where John Ford made some of the greatest westerns of all time. And I thought no trip across the country could be complete without Monument Valley. I, I love the idea of Chevy wrecking the car in one of the most desolate spots in, in the country and and then I, I knew that putting him against that setting and giving him that line well there must be a phone or a gas station around here someplace he says looking at this endless trackless waste uh, I just wanted to see that in film and uh, we had a great stuntman named Dick Zyker who works with a company called Stunts Unlimited and he was dying to jump that station wagon I don't, He'd, he'd never jumped a nine-passenger station wagon before, so they built a ramp for him. And he called some other stuntmen to get their advice. They said, put plenty of weight in the back of the station wagon. And just before we, sh and we shot the scene, the crew was guessing how far he'd go in this jump. And when he saw that their guesses were a little short, he took all the weight out of the back of the station wagon. And he sailed through that canyon, and it was just spectacular. The whole crew was standing there in awe. And you did it in one take? Oh, yeah. You only get one take <laughs> <laughs> on those things. <laughs> how many cameras? Four on that. Yeah. yeah. Harold, how do you say to a fellow like Chevy Chase, and you've known him a long time, and I'm sure the two of you have great respect for one another, how do you say to a fellow like that, I'm sorry, Chevy, that just isn't funny? About like that. <laughs> 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 it's what he says back that's the problem. <laughs> He's very cooperative, uh, and I've found in general people who are trying to be funny, their worst fear is that they're not being funny. So y often you don't even have to say that. They can read your face. They'll do something, and it, they look for approval, and uh, it's not like I put myself, excuse me, not like I put myself in a, 
in some kind of exalted position, but th they can look at the cameraman and know if it worked or not, and they generally know. Uh, we spend more time, less time arguing about what is or isn't funny, and more time finding things that are, that we both agree on. And generally, he's a very funny guy. Yeah, I, I, but you know, we, we all run into those situations where there are several different ways to do things. Now, let me bring this up. Originally, the movie had a different ending. Mm -hmm. And as I understand it, they wanted to shorten the movie, so is, that's not true? Well, we didn't change it to shorten it, no. We, uh, we changed it. The old ending worked, it was nice. It was fine. It, it was not bad, but the movie had this great mo momentum. Chevy's promised his family this great, great vacation, and we really thought we should, when we looked at the ending we'd shot, we thought it didn't really deliver on this trip that he'd been promising. So we thought of a, a much more physical, active ending for the film. Shot it in three days at the Magic Mountain Amusement Park. So this is the ending you wanted then, is that right? Uh, there was never a conflict over the ending. Uh, the studio was very cooperative all the time. We all looked at the film, the, including Matty Simmons, the producer, Chevy, everybody, and we, we just knew we could do better with the ending. Okay. And we wrote it, and they gave us the money. <laughs> Well, Harold, it's been fun talking with you here Thank at the you. Grand Canyon, and uh, I hope that your movie does really well. National oh. Lampoon's Vacation got a lot of laughs in it. Thanks a lot. Nice talking with you. <laughs>